What's up guys? This is Jordan aka J Man with Games with Jordan aka J Man and this is the last resort of Wasa Gromit Episode 2 of the Grand Adventures Telltale Game series. I'm gonna make sure hold up. We're gonna turn down some settings. So Kyle's on Why is it? Why am I thing acting up? Okay. I think that's good. You guys can hear me okay. We're gonna have the game volume be. What the heck? I think the game volume is gonna be that high. That should that should work. Give hints. Often, yeah, there we go. Okay, something's wrong with my mouse. Like, it's not even like staying full screen. Yeah, that's all oh, that's good. Okay, so let's do a new game. If the audio is sounding fantastic, then that's a plus for you. I am using a brand new headset gaming headset I just got that yesterday and it has fixed all my problems so I am just excited so let's start the game we only know tutorial we got this I'm going to mute my microphone when there's a cutscene so I'll be muted Talk about raining cats and dogs, our plumbing's in a right pickle. Fetch me my spanner, lad, while I stick me finger in the dike. All right, so we have to help Wallace. With his uh, thingamajiggy, and we're gonna use the, uh, the arrow keys to move Grummet. What the heck? Everything's like a little beveling. Let me fix this. Okay. I don't know if I can use the... Oh, I can. Oh, crap. <laughs> I can use the... The controller. Woo! Nice. Alright. Sweet. How do you like investigate? X. I shouldn't bother with that, Gromit. It's still only a prototype. Wow. Using the controller, guys. Controller. Wow. Alright. This is lit. Letty, letty, letty. Let me turn the volume up. Just a tad. Just a tad. Just a tad. Alright, I think you guys can still hear me. That's fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, we got. I think we need to do this. Don't do that, lad. We'll lose the lights. We'll lose the lights. Didn't know it's doing on Tati. Use circuit breaker. No. Oh yeah, we need this. That's it. Just the job. Bring it here now, will you, lad? Uh, how do I give it to you? Is there like a? Oh, I think, I think it's tap, right? No, that's not. That's not it. A uh, shift. Oh, okay, shift is it? Uh, let's see, shift. We need this. Yeah. Uh, mm. 
see ya. Oh. Frankie. Frankie, lad. And stay clear of the water. It's electric. It's electric. All right. So we have to go this way. Do -do -do -do. Freaking lit. Game saved. Mommy, have you gone crackers? You'll get yourself electrocuted. Here we go. Yeah, boy. Okay, what are we doing? Black and blonde, like a black and black and blonde. Track. Oh, we need this. That's it. Pick up. Careful, lad. That's extremely volatile. My hands are compressed rocket gas. Ex NASA. Ex NASA. Here we go. About to da da. Da 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 da. All right. I'm gonna do a shift. I'm gonna get this and he's on this. Don't do it, lad. You'll blow yourself to smithereens. Let let in the pit. Fixed in a jiffy. Just a moment. Turn to the right. And now it's safe to hit the lights. It's That's safe better. to hear the lights. Oh, there you are. Well, we best It's safe to lead the lights, lad. Sorry about the unseasonal weather. I'm afraid it means we'll have to put off our little trip to the seaside. Unless you bring the seaside to us. Lit. Chapter 1 Ocean Ocean. Look here. We've already got a cellar full of water. Mute. Just a few more items. There we are. And we can enjoy the seaside from the comfort of our own home. <laughs> Won't that be something, lad? We'll stay home for the holidays and have our own beach to boot. Lucky the rain's let up for now. I'll be back in a trice with all the necessaries. Sun, sand and beach umbrella coming up. Beach supplies in there. Forgot to unmute. This is gonna be like a raw, unedited video because it'll take me, it'll, it'll take me a long time to edit this out. So it's gonna be a unedited uh, video. Hope you understand. And normally, all these Telltale games are about two hours long. So, yeah, that's the thing, too. So, I will try to hurry what up the best here? I can with this up, video. Surely, you're not still thinking of the beach. It's freezing cold and might rain any moment. Ugh, a little wet never dampened the spirits of my biscuit. Grab your wellies and we'll be off. Duncan, I really don't think so. Hmm. I'm going to go into town. Pick up the stuff, you know what I'm saying? Flood. Gather the townsfolk. We'll stack the sandbags to the north, south, and east. Still time if we hurry. Look lively now, soda. No, 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 you can't dump these sandbags here. Just, just, just wait a moment, Major, please. Stop dithering, you dunderhead. The town's being swept under. It's not being swept under, Major. And you're beginning to be a public nuisance. We are in the town. We are in the town. 
Blink and Nara. Blink and Nara. Thinking weather, eh, Bollas? It is rather gloomy. Like my business. Not a single customer all day. My sizzling summer sale has lost its sizzle. Excuse me. Uh, That's quite a light, Mr. Paneer. It's a searchlight. I say, no shortage of candle power there. Bright as the sun, don't you think? Wonderful for bringing in the big spenders. When the weather's fair, that is. I wonder, Mr. Paneer, where might a person acquire such a light? I'd be happy to lend you this one, but... If the weather warms up tonight, I'll need it to advertise my super sore away sizzling summer sale. Oh. Oh, yeah. It's a stack of Stilton. Hmm, I need that. Is that the earth shaking roar of thunder? Oh, uh, well, actually, uh... It doesn't matter when it comes to the complex question of climate. A person should hey, never my hand. I don't know why I didn't. own senses. Dang it. Only the experts really understand the weather. Oh? Blink and Nora. Beach supplies. Yes, indeed. Do -do -do. Okay. Huh. Okay, so we need a magazine for that guy. So we're gonna grab one of these. Looking for something to read? Take your pick. I'll put it on your slate. Nice. Yep, that's the one we need. The weather one. For right now. On the way tonight, they say. All set. Hey, make sure he don't nick any sweets. Mind your own business. That old misery guts thinks he could run this shop. <laughs> he couldn't run a bar. Not gonna do that, y'all. Okay. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, we need to give the premier magazine. Hmm. No. What? No, I can't, well, Jacob. Sorry. My sale won't be very sizzling this year. Sorry to hear that. Stormy weather ahead, there I'm afraid. Oh? Oh, no. After all that, my sizzling summer sale is ruined. I go on holiday, but the weather's a washout. Will the sun never shine on yours truly? All right, so he ain't got any in this. I I'll say, take it. I wonder where a person might acquire such a light. You're welcome to borrow this one, Mr. Wallace. There won't be any sizzling summer sale tonight. Not in this blinking weather. That's huh? very kind of you. Always happy to help. Oh, ho, ho. this light will make a smashing sun. So, guys, I did do a episode one of Wasp Grummet Fright at the Bumblebees. You, need, you can check that out if you want. I will link that on the top, and I will link the playlist of Wasp Grummet on the bottom of the description. So, make sure to check that out as well. Uh, so, we got... Uh, okay. Let's see. No beach brollies left. Sorry. A big burly bloke bought the last one. And he weren't very polite about it. He weren't very polite. Oh. I like how this controller is. Thunder, I hear? Uh, uh, not exactly. Uh, hmm. Didn't think so. After all, you can't tell what the weather's doing just by looking and listening, can you? You've got to rely on the experts. The experts. 
Sí. What's the latest cheese of the week, I wonder? Yes, that reminds me. I just sent the truck out with your delivery. When you return home, you'll find it waiting patiently on your doorstep. Ah, just like Gromit. You know, Mr. Wallace, there's nothing like coming home to a faithful, loyal cheese. I quite agree. Okay, well, yeah. So, uh... Apparently, Wallace li loves cheese more than Grummet. Ha ha ha. Very funny. Very funny. Alright. So, so, we got that. You would need that for the thunder. You have to make uh, them wonder... Uh, let's see. What, how uh, the weather gets there, so... So who should I talk to? The guy, I guess. Major. Well, if you'd like to unload these sandbags, I know just the spot. Just as I told you, the people are pleading for sand, and we've got to give it to them. But if you've got a need for sandbags, Wallace, I hereby grant you permission. Oh, you grant permission? Indeed. Take all you want, Wallace. Infernal cheat! I'm the commanding officer here, you jumped up Jogsworth, and I hereby revoke permission. Can't you be cooperative just this once, Major? Cooperative? Don't know the meaning of the word. Sounds subversive to me. Hmm. All right, Major, how about this? Why don't we ask Wallace here who's in command? This young Pongo? Very well. Why not? Tell us, soldier, who holds rank here? Remember your training. Well, it's uh. Two fine flavors that work well together. We're talking about who's in charge, not flavors. Just a moment. Are you saying that instead of bickering over who's in charge, we should be working together as a team, like uh, steak and kidney? Uh, are you saying that in a crisis like this, we must act as one, like a well-trained commando unit? Actually, yep. it's a sign. Exactly, a sign that we can now rise above our squabbles. Very well then, um, here's what we'll do. We'll send these sandbags off with you. Thank goodness. Well, I'll be off then. I can hear an hot meat pie calling me name. Yes, I can. Ernest Dibbins, it's saying. It's tea time. Yep. Fetch the blinking ketchup, Ernest. Now then, soldier. All I need is your requisition form. Requisition form? That's right. Not to play by the book. Can't let the spies sabotage operations, can we? Spies? Surely you've heard about the spies from abroad. They're everywhere. Don't look so rattled, man. Just bring me your requisition form, and you'll soon be neck deep in splendid sandbags. Oh, hmm. right then. Game is saved. That is great. Do 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 do. Da 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 Um Okay We gotta get some kind of form I don't know, does she have it? Oh wait, nope Let's get to where No. It's been a while since I played this game, guys, so... Afternoon, Mrs. Gabberly. Hello, Wallace. Lovely weather, isn't it? Well, uh, I, uh... I'm joking, Pat. I know it's rotten. Hmm. Had to cancel me holiday. That's a shame. Certainly is, being stuck with old misery guts here. I heard that! He don't miss a word I say, except when I ask him to do something. Uh, 
Sitting behind a till all day ain't exactly hard labor. What would you know about hard labor? I could run this place a sight better than you, if I had a mind to. If you had a mind? What will it be, love? Nothing. See ya. Da 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 da. Go this way. Yep, that's it. That's what I need. Ridiculous. Oh, hello there, Wallace. Come and meet Duncan McBiscuit. He's an old friend. <laughs> and of course, you know my two precious darlings, Fuji Woo and Tinky Wee. Say hello to Mr. Wallace Angels. Uh, yes. Uh, look, Gromit, it's your friends from next door. Cute little <laughs> fellows. Oh, yes. They're show dogs, you know. Prize winners. <laughs> They're Evil. Pride and joy. Evil dogs. Evil. Well, Evil. No, 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 no. Duncan was just leaving. Leaving with you, lassie, for a day on the beach. But what if there's a cloud burst? I don't consider thunder and lightning very pleasant beach companions. But there's me thunder and me lightning. Hmm. Can you hear any thundering? Any cracking or booming? Well, can you? Maybe I can. Just hush your tongue a moment, will you? <laughs> hush your tongue. Ah, oh, yes, it's mouth-watering. Here you go. Oh, my gracious. That's thunder, all right. <laughs> and it's nearly upon us. Oh, for sure it may be thundering, but... But did you see lightning? There's no lightning to bother about us, sir. Oh, no, you don't. I'm not going to stay out here with you waiting to be struck by lightning. I'm going to seek shelter, and if you've any sense at all, Duncan McBiscuit, you'll do the same. Good day. What? Oh. Yeah, he's happy. We got the umbrella. We got the umbrella. 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 That's a song. I'll just borrow this. Just the thing for our cellar based indoor beach experience. We need sand, so we'll take this. Oh crap. My bad guys, sorry about that. West Wallaby Street. Stilton. One of my favorites. Alright. Okay, I'll be back. Well, Grummet. West Wallaby Street. West Wallaby. What up, guys? I might change something real quick. Ah. One minute, I need to fix this. Do 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 do. All right, think that will do it. Yeah. Mhm. Mm I might be loud now, guys. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. Do 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 do. Okay, we need to give him the thing. It's only for cheese, but give that here. Good heavens. Special orders hmm. deliver to 62 West Wallaby Street. You've done the service proud, soldier. Now stand clear. No time for chitter chatter. I'm needed in West Wallaby Street. Uh, uh yes, sir. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Game saved. You know what's up. Alright. 
Nice to see you, fellas. See ya. Do, do, do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, boy. We got some sand. Whoops, a daisy. There we go. Pop, pull all the sand we need. The Riviera, here we come. Great news, Gromit. All the goods have been gathered. Now it's time for some elbow grease, eh? To the cellar. To the cellar. Chapter 2 The Guest House Mantini. 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 Mantini, okay. Just a minute. Such a lovely beach. It's a shame to keep it to ourselves when we could share it with paying customers. Just imagine West Wallaby Street Water World. A genuine beach house, complete with its own all-weather seaside in the cellar basement beach attraction. Oh, oh, we'll be surrounded by happy holiday makers. It'll be grand, Gromit. Lit. This man's ruining my blinkin' holiday. Half a mind to take my book and say it go home. Sandwich. I was only teasing. Just ask that great big pudding there. Shut up! I ain't no pudding, yet. These dogs are disturbing time. the peace. Bylaws state that all livestock must what be kept God? under proper control My in public places. Lie, and they're not livestock. I want a refund. I want a refund and all. Refunds would indeed appear to be in order, Mr. Wallace. What do you say? Uh, uh, um. Well, here at West Wallaby Street Waterworld, Customer satisfaction is our top priority. If you'll just be patient, I promise we'll have everything under control by supper time. Uh. You've got till supper time, no later. Not much of an holiday so far, I'm sorry to say. Mm, those mutts are a threat to public <laughs> safety. They didn't shop and never just a that tip man. Fruit display. Calling my dears livestock. We can't afford to give refunds, Gromit. We've spent all our money doing the house up. This could be a financial disaster. What are we going to do, lad? I never thought we'd have a house full of unhappy holiday makers. Bunch of morning minis, if you ask me. I'm having a grand old time. Well, that's one satisfied customer anyway. There we are. This customer relationship management isn't so hard, is it, Gromit? There's hope for our little venture yet. You'd best get supper started. Make it a feast to remember. I'll see to our guests. We'll soon have a house full of happy campers, eh, lad? All right, now this is the hardest part. The heck? Hello, Wallace. What's in his mouth? The heck? <laughs> like he has a binky or something. Wallace, I've been longing for a new look, and I quite fancy this one. Very incognito, don't you think? My own babies wouldn't recognize me in this getup. Uh, mm. I'm afraid fashion isn't really my forte, Miss Flick. Now it's gone. Nonsense. What man is immune to the allure of a well dressed woman? Hmm. How funny! That sounded just like my little darling's chew toy. I think it is. Ha ha ha! Okay. Ah, uh, let's see. Holiday money. Uh, 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 uh. 
don't I don't know where you supposed to get Uh, okay, may I just do this first? Not supper time yet, is it, lad? Sorry about that. Okay, this 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 part is the hardest, so I'm gonna try to do this part first if I can. We have to talk to her. A anything I can do for you, Mrs. Gabberly? Oh dear. Oh, what a mess I am! But it's me own fault for letting that mangy McBiscuit get under my skin. Why should I care what he says? As me mum taught me, sticks and stones will break your bones, but silly names can never hurt you. Hey, here comes trouble! Your big fat pudding! <laughs> the big fat pudding? No, oh, it's true enough, I know. It's a out of shape for a beach holiday. Perhaps I should just get me refund and go home. Oh, no. That's kind of you. But it's no good. I can't be talked out of a mood like this, can I? Oh, well, I... Uh... <laughs> hey, you're in a right mess you are, Winnie Gabbley, and no mistake. What to do? What to do? Hmm. Fresh as a daisy. I can't say as I understand you, Wallace. It's not just me, is it? What do you think of Duncan McBiscuit? He's a rotten cheese. That's a stinky cheese. <laughs> ah, he's a rich stinky cheese, he is. Glad you agree. Oh, you're a reek good listener, you are, Wallace. I'd go home to Mr. Gabberly, but there's no point. Won't get no sympathy from him indoors, will I? Sharp as a knife. I'm not sure what that's supposed Dang it. to mean. I, I hate this part. I'm no, I'm terrible at this I'm part. A sense. Do you catch my drift? Terrible at this part. Help who? I'm afraid you've lost me, Chuck. Oh, it's a sorry old world, isn't it? Thanks to the bullies. A bit of romance. I can't uh, say that's why I, I do understand you, Wallace. When she talked about him, okay. Oh, what do I know? I'm going soft. In the head, aren't I? No, sharp, sharp as a knife. Sharp as a knife. Well, now that's kind of you there to you say go. so, Wallace. Glad you're here, Wallace. He happen to may be knocking on. Too old for a beach holiday, that's for sure. Fresh as a daisy. Oh, I don't know about that. Huh? But it's ever so kind of you to say there so. There we go. Yeah, boy. Yeah. I'm feeling a bit better now. Oh, yeah. We got this now, guys. We can do this. I should count my blessings. At least my new outfits. That's something, isn't it? Oh, I'm going to get this one right. Uh... Clear as glass. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. Oh, dang it. Oh, what do I know? I'm going soft in the head, aren't I? No. 
fresh as a daisy. I'll food. food. I'm afraid you have oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Hey, no. Oh. Too old for a beach holiday, that's for sure. Sharp as a knife. Sharp as a knife? No. No. I'd rather just chat. No. Oh. Wallace, you made it worse. Do you catch me drift? Clear as glass. Clear as glass. Well, that's good anyway. At least I'm not just talking to myself. All right. You're an exemplary host, Wallace. <laughs> You're in a right mess. You are Winnie Gabbley, and no mistake. What to do? What to do? No, you're fresh and a daisy. Uh, health, health food. food. Oh, are you saying I'm fat? Oh, who am I kidding? I've always been big boned. Dang it. I should count me blessings. At least me new art fix. That's something, isn't it? Fresh as a daisy. I can't say as I understand you, Wallace. No. It's not just me, is it? What do you think of Duncan McBiscuit? Thank you, cheese. That's a stinky cheese. <laughs> ah, he's a rich stinky mm. cheese, he is. Glad you agree. Oh, you're a real good listener, you are, Wallace. Oh, it's a sorry old world, isn't it? Thanks to the bullies. There's nothing like a cup of tea. I'm not sure mm. what that's supposed to mean. No. I go home to Mr. Gabbley, but there's no point. Won't get no sympathy from him indoors, will I? Yeah. A bit of romance. A bit of romance. Oh, cheeky. But yes, Gabbley does have his romantic side. I'm right. Occasionally. I'm right, guys. I'm right. Glad you're here, Wallace. Oh, what do I know? I'm going soft in the head, aren't I? Sharp as a knife. Sharp as a knife. Well, now, that's kind of you to say so, Wallace. I'm feeling a bit better now. Eee, happen I may be knocking on. Too old for a beach holiday, that's for sure. Nah. Fresh as, fresh as a daisy. Fresh as a daisy. Oh, I don't know about that. But it's ever so kind of you to say so. You know what? Yeah, we did, guys. Yeah, boy. Woo! So what if I'm a bit like a pudding? <laughs> I've tangled with giant bees, I have. <laughs> I can take care of a bullying McBiscuit any day. Thank you, Wallace. You've a right kindly way with words, you have. Uh, glad to be of service. I'll be fine now, Pat. Reckon I'll finish my story. Hey! hey there, you big fat! Shut your trap, you tart and tear away, or I'll box your ears! Hmm, I do like a good book. No need for a refund, then? Oh, no. I'm as happy as Larry me. Oh, another happy camper. All right, we're doing great. The rest of this will be a piece of cake. That was like the hardest part in my book. Miss Blitz seemed very excited about her new look. Blue and white stripes must be all the rage these days. <laughs> Yep, I need to go check that out. Uh, let's go. Let's leave. 
Let's leave Wallace. All right, can we go upstairs? And go in here. Yeah, boy. Dang, evil dogs. Mr. Wallace, I'd like a word with you if you please. Enjoying your stay at West Wallaby Street, Waterworld, Constable? I'm this close to having your establishment shut down. Shut down? You heard me. These dogs are a public nuisance and an elf hazard and all. Oh dear. Went bonkers, they did. And all because I tried to clear away that horrible little toy of theirs. I don't approve of litter, you know. I believe Miss I warned Felicity Flit and all. And now she must face the full force of the law. I'm issuing a formal caution for the disruption of lawful quietude. It's the third I've had to write today. The third? Aye, the first two got eaten. Give this one to Miss Flit and tell her to remove her animals or I'll be forced to shut the place down. All right. That seems to be in working order. <laughs> okay, Miss Flit. Uh, Miss Flit is this way. Miss Flit is that way. What the heck? <laughs> he has a binky. A binky. He has a binky. He has a banker. Constable Dibbins has requested. Constable Dibbins is mistaken. Foji Woo and Tinky Wee would never misbehave. They did seem a touch rambunctious. Oh, very well. Let's get this over with. Behave, or I'll have you banged up in the kennels. Ah. <sighs> That's more like it. What's this nonsense about my doggies? Ah, oh. there you are, Miss Flit. Your doggies are causing a breach of the peace. They're behaving like, uh, well, like animals. <gasps> How could you say such a thing? Only telling it like it is. Disturbing the peace, are they? <laughs> well, they were until you came in. Constable, if I ever see my doggy behaving badly, I shall reprimand them myself, believe me. But just look at them. They're as sweet and innocent as pink icing sugar. But, but, but why don't you find some other tiny, defenseless creatures to harass and leave my babies alone? Babies? Hooligans, more like. Got an idea. Rain blast. I'd better stay here and see to our guests. Uh, dude. I have to leave. Hard at work, eh, Gromit? That's what I like to see. We'll soon have a house full of happy holiday makers, never fear. Oh, cracking idea, lad. Everyone loves a copper. You'd best attend to your pots and pans, eh? Cannonball! Yeah, the pacifier. I wouldn't want anyone to step on that toy by mistake. It's not a toy, and you can't have it. The battle isn't over. Enjoying your holiday, I hope, Major? Oh, yes, absolutely. Dashed comfortable billet you have here. Oh, uh, thank you. 
We strive to achieve complete customer satisfaction. That wasn't so hard. Put that thing down and pay attention. Oh. I mm. am about to reenact one of the greatest desert battles of history, the Siege of Aqaba. Not many know the tale. It was late 1914, or was it 1916? It was an even year of that, I'm sure. On the one side was a single British soldier, T.E. Lawrence, better known to you civvies as Sir Lawrence of Olivia. On the other, the invading army of the Ottoman Empire, thousands strong. You know the story. Lawrence single-handedly defended a desert fortress from a massive attack. He had only one rifle and no ammunition. He was all alone, just like this. Lawrence watched the enemy from a secret vantage point sheltered by enormous red boulders. <laughs> anyway, as the enemy massed, vultures began to circle overhead, crying out in their desperate thirst for blood. Just like this. Now, at this point, your average Joe would have thrown in the towel and anything else he had to hand. But what do you think our Lawrence did? He took tea. Oh, ah. Anyway, Lawrence Got it. about to dunk his digestive when suddenly... Oh, blast and bother. This isn't right. Not quite historically accurate, I'm afraid. I'll have to start again. Just a moment. I have a cuppa for you. May I offer you a spot of tea, Major? Of course. Sharpens the wits. Okay, I need some red boulders. Hello again. That's my next new loop. Isn't it exciting? It is. Can you picture in me fashion. in a get up like this? I'm not sure that I can. That's the idea. I'll be unrecognizable. Mm hmm. Let's talk to her. Uh, I trust everything at West Wallaby Street Waterworld is to your satisfaction, Miss Blip. We strive to satisfy. It's sweet of you to ask, Mr. Wallace. I'm having a wonderful time. All this drama swirling around me. But I remain an oasis of calm in the hurly-burly of holiday madness. Oh, glad to hear it. I think I'm getting the hang of this. How funny. That sounded just like my little darling's chew hmm. toy. I think it is. All right. Your searchlight is just what West Wallaby Street Waterworld needed, Mr. Paneer. Everything satisfactory, I hope. No, not satisfactory at all. A certain Scottish gentleman has been deconstructing my constructions. Perhaps the management hmm. could have a word with him. I'm afraid Mr. McBiscuit is rather difficult to pin down. You've got to do something. If I can't finish my sandcastle, I'll have to insist on a refund. Your castle oh, no. looks very handsome, Mr. Paneer. Such charming little bucket shapes. I do admire creative artists like yourself. Oh, thank you, Miss Flip. At least someone appreciates art and craft. Look, it's almost done. What do you reckon? Uh, very nice. No. I should look in on our other guests. But I'm nearly done. Just one last touch. There. The perfect finishing touch. The mark of finest quality produce. Ye. Miss Flit's going to be impressed. Oh, hi. She'll be ever so impressed, I'm sure. Oh, no. Uh, whoops, my foot slipped, silly me. <laughs> my castle. Stomped on by a tartan heel. See what I have to put up with? 
A holiday is not a blinking holiday if I can't finish my sandcastle. Now I have to start all over. Go up here. There we go. Ah, uh, Mr. McBiscuit, may I, uh, have a word? Uh, later then. Crikey, the infrastructure's getting a lot of wear and tear. Very fashionable. I need those. It won't mind if I borrow this. All right. Okay, we got that. Here we go. Oh wait, we need to go back in there. Nope, that's not it. There we go. That's it. The heck? That's kind of weird. Man, there are a lot of glitches in this stupid in this game. Binky guy, <laughs> Binky, 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 what you need? Any interest in this? Perfect, just like the great boulders of the Akbar Desert. In luck, my boy. I was just about to reenact the siege of Akbar. You know the story. Sir Lawrence took cover under massive red boulders. Just Here like this. Vultures circled the sky, crying out for blood. Just like this, our Lawrence, cool as a cabbage, took tea. <laughs> just like this. Lawrence was taking tea and about to dunk his digestive when suddenly 10,000 howling Ottoman soldiers charged the fortress. Tea was ruined, obviously. But did Lawrence of Olivier give up? Never! He took his rifle and levered the great red boulders down the dunes, rolling them straight into the enemy horde. With the invaders in disarray, Lawrence, armed only with his bayonet, and still desperate for a cover, counterattacked. He took them on one by one until he achieved total and complete victory. I'll just tidy this up. Worth 
thinking about food. Enjoying your stay? Not until my castle is complete. Have a look. It's almost done. As you can see, I've rearranged everything. It's even better than before. I see. Hey, this little fella might enhance your sandcastle. A knight to defend the castle, eh? Why not? It couldn't hurt. Just one last touch. There. The mark of finest quality produce. I can't wait to show Miss Flick. And I'm sure she can't wait to see. Oh, no. Uh, thought I saw a spider. <laughs> <laughs> My castle. I've been wrong-footed. I'm at my wit's end, Wallace. Now I have to start all over. Mr. Paneer's sandcastle always looks the same to me. But I suppose he must know what's what. Making progress. I'm almost done. Have a look. As you can see, I've rearranged everything. It's even better than before. I see. Just one last touch. There. The mark of fight. I hope. Oh, she'll love it, I'm sure. Oh, no. Uh, oh, sorry. I down. No. Mr. Paneer is a fine builder. Too bad his tower of groceries has such a short shelf life. Here's this fella. Put him where you like. That's the horrible dungeon where the mean bullying knight is kept locked in chains. Just one last touch. There. The mark of finest quality produce. Me. Miss Flit's going to be impressed. Oh, hi. She'll be ever so impressed, I'm sure. Oh, no. Uh, oh, dear. Seems to have stubbed my toe. <laughs> my castle. Stomped on by a tartan heel. See what I have to put up with? A holiday's not a blinking holiday if I can't finish my sandcastle. Now I have to start all over. Mr. Paneer. Would this be... I'm very busy right now, Wallace. Please talk to me about it later. Hello, Wallace. Would you like these sunglasses? Oh, wonderful, Mr. Wallace. Very stylish. I'll use these for my new look. It's going to be such fun. I have the glasses. I just need the scarf.
any interest in this? Oh, thank you, Mr. Wallace. What a lovely scarf. Actually, it's a... Such vibrant colour and such a pretty pattern. It's perfect for my new look. My new look is complete. Just a moment. You're in for a surprise. Ta-da! What do you think, Wallace? Am I not mysterious? Uh, quite mysterious, yes. <gasps> oh, where's Felicity? Where did Miss Flint go? Uh... Here I am! <laughs> we do have fun, Wallace, don't we? My new Luke, you can't even tell it's me, can you? Uh, I... Uh... I'm so pleased you share my passion for fashion, Mr. Wallace. We have so much in common. Here's this, Bella. Put him where you like. Just one last touch. There! The mark of finest quality produce. I can't wait to show Miss Flint. And I'm sure. Oh. Uh, whoops! I cast. I've been. No way. Mr. Paneer is a fine builder. Too bad his power of groceries has such a short shelf life. Sorry about that guys, man, you can't even hear me. <laughs> Thanks. My bad. I was just talking, you guys can't even hear me. The heck? Show that formal caution to Miss Flit. Oh, but I did. Then show her again. Sooner or later she'll have to take wow. it seriously. Okay, I've been talking, talking, and talking, and you like can't even hear me. Wow, I'm so sorry about that guys. So sorry about that. Okay, um, I would have to pause for a second to go feed my dogs. Here comes McBiscuits! I want to try to hurry this up. Okay, I want to describe his castle. Enjoying your stay? Not until my castle is complete. Have a look. It's almost done. As you can see, I've rearranged everything. It's even better than before. I see. That's the royal court where the king holds sumptuous banquets for all his royal chums. Okay. On this one. That's the enchanted tower where the beautiful princess sleeps, dreaming of a successful marriage to a financially secure prince. That's the tower of groceries where the heroic young shopkeeper sells top quality produce. Impressive architecture, don't you think? Oh, uh, yes. That's the horrible dungeon where the mean bullying knight is kept locked in chains. Oh, I think I, I think you play on this, I think. Yep, that's it. Okay. Right click. Just one last touch. There. We did it. The mark of finest quality produce. I hope Miss Flit likes it. Oh, she'll love it, I'm sure. Oh, no. Oh, my boot, my poor tender boot. It was a blasted sand trap. Oh, 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 oh. Well then, should 
be able to work in peace now, I reckon. Oh, well, jolly good. Nice. Now for the finishing touch. The defender of the kingdom. However do you manage such lovely creations, Mr. Paneer? It's a knack, Miss Lit. If I hadn't made it into grocer school, I might have been an engineer. But of course, groceries are my first love. Ah, uh, anything else I can assist with? No, thank you, Mr. Wallace. You may consider me a happy camper and most satisfied customer. Nice. You aim to please. Nice, guys. Very nice. We got everybody, almost. We need Constable Dibbins. Hello there. Okay, I'm gonna give her this. Constable Dibbins was wandering. Again? Oh, let's get this over with. Threatening behavior towards an officer of the law, that's a serious offense, that is. Don't think I won't lock you up, because I will. This is your final, final warning. Oh, hold your wall! Take me away! Huh? How could you behave like uh, this? Uh... Mommy is very disappointed. Very, very disappointed. And what did you do to upset my precious cupcakes like that? Cupcakes? My darlings, did the bad man upset you? Don't be scared. Mummy's here now. How about a little dressing up game to make it all better? Do you want to play dress up? Oh, yes, you do. Yes, you do. Oh, the mummy's weeps. <sighs> She's lucky I didn't throw those mutts in the kennels. How are this close, Awa? You can only push PC Ernest Dibbins so far. I hope your Sorry about that, guys. Is proceeding in a satisfactory Sorry about that. manner, Constable. Satisfactory? Hmm. Yes. Yes, indeed. Everything appears to be quite satisfactory, peaceful, and... Okay, guys, I'll be right back. You, I'm going to go Champion, feed my dogs. We're getting there. So, uh, enjoy this cutscene. Ha <laughs> ha! At last! A house full of satisfied customers, just as I predicted. I'd best tell Gromit to lay the table. Compliment our host. I've had a cracking holiday. Oh, thank goodness for that. It was a near thing though, wasn't it? Oh, smell of those fish and chips. We can look forward to superior chow here in the office's mayor's mm. one. The tableware doesn't seem to be in breach of any health and safety regulations. Enforcement's the key, of course. You smell like heaven, lassie. Did you buy a new perfume for our date? Oh, Really, Duncan? That's just the flower in my hair. And I'm not sure I'd call it a date. Uh, um, uh, before we tuck in, on behalf of the management, that is, Gromit and me, I'd like to welcome you all to our new venture. West Wallaby Street Water World, the only holiday destination with its own all-weather seaside in the cellar basement uh, beach attraction. I have a few words to say myself. Raise your glasses. Raise them, I said. To a great day with a great lass, the sweetest sights I ever smelled. That's right, I'm talking about... Hey, who turned out the... Oh, 
Sorry about that, guys. All right, we are back to Oz Grummet Grand Adventures. We are Grummet now. Okay. Uh, there's someone here. Help hey. me. I can't move. The heck. Okay. Yeah, those crazy dogs did this, huh? The crazy dogs! Okay. Okay, I can go anywhere else. Okay. No, wait! Don't leave me! What the heck? What do you do, lad? Shovel you out? Thank you. Whoever you are. I was this close to take my last breath. You found me just in time. I've located the victim. Mr. McBiscuit has sustained a nasty knock to the noggin and don't remember now about it. Happily, he will recover. However, aggravated thumping is a serious offence and I've no choice but to treat every one of you as suspects. Afraid of... <gasps> I never suspect. <coughs> Until our thumper is caught, nobody leaves this house. Nobody comes in and nobody goes out. Nice. Until I know the person who done it. Who done it? I know who did it. Spies from abroad. Saboteurs from the South Sea. Thank you, Major. That's enough of your doolally chatter for now. Only cold hard facts can solve this mystery. Solve this mystery? That's right. By the book. You know, uh, burden of innocence and uh, proof of purchase and all that. That's our real investigations. Now, what's that contraption? My latest prototype, Constable. The Deductomatic Mystery Solver. Deductomatic? Hmm? Is that what's been taking money out of my savings account? Oh no, Mrs. Gabberly. The deductomatic harnesses unused brain power to solve mysteries. If you're pointing the finger, Wallace, any accusation must be backed up by hard fact and proven according to the law. Well, I. Uh, that is, it should be working. It. All right then, tell us, Wallace, who thumped Duncan McBiscuit? Who done it? 
still done it. Oh, that can't be right. We're waiting. Uh, 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 just a moment. Any idea who done it, lad? You wouldn't mind pointing him out, would you? Fuji Woo and Tinky Wee. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's it though. Two wee pops laying junk and low. That's daft, that is. <laughs> Silly that. The very idea of accusing my dear doggies. How absurd. Aye, quite absurd. Absurd, eh? Nothing is absurd before the law. Here we go. It is the absurd claims the law takes most seriously. For if the absurd cannot expect justice and a fair hearing, then who among us can? He's got a point. We must treat this accusation according to the law. The law requires proof. Proof requires the... Uh... Hold on. Proof requires three things. First, the motive. Why did the suspect stump Duncan McBiscuit? Second, the weapon. What was he thumped with? Third, a witness. Who can collaborate? C -c -c Corroborize it. Uh, back up your accusation. Do you have a motive, a weapon, and a witness, Mr. Wallace? Uh, I'll just recalibrate the inference ometers. There we are. What'll it be? Motive, weapon, or witness? Hmm, where to begin? Of course, now we'll get the facts. Get what facts? Uh, the weapon. I've determined the weapon. Well done. Tell us what, um, what's your podge in Winky T? Used to thump Duncan. Well, out with it, man. Uh, uh, um, just a moment. Do you have anything resembling a weapon, lad? I could use one sharpish. I miscalibrated the conductivator, whatchamacallit. All right, that's enough of that. Everyone can go about their normal business. But remember, nobody leaves the house until the mystery is solved. Dang. PG Woo and Tiki Wee messed it up. Mm-hmm. Sure it did. In the meantime, why don't you uh, sniff up some clues for the deductomatic process, eh, lad? All right. We, might start with we can do that. There. I expect he's got some juicy leads. I've got the suspects right where I want them. Written down on the official constabulary notepad. I'll crack the case with this, I will. All right, so. We gotta find evidence. We're Grummet. I love being Grummet. Grummet is the best. Nope. <laughs> okay. Who is your favorite Wallace Grummet character? Let me know in the comment section. It should be available. To see you, Private. Hello, dude. Da, 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 da. Checking provisions, eh? Good military planning. Who knows how long that fool of a civilian constable will keep us cooped up? Best start rationing now before panic sets in and we have to eat our pack animals. Or each other.
Mr. Gabble is news agent. Now open for business. Is that the customer I am? Boy, you want to shop here? You gotta follow my rules. Yeah? Take what you like and I'll put it on slate. Business will sort out payment later. Got that? Boy, and don't nick nothing while you're about it. Why me? That were easy. I don't know why Winnie makes so much fuss. Satisfaction guaranteed. Or I'll give you what for. Okay, I think we need this. Mr. Gabberly promised he'd run shop for me. Imagine him downstairs, face to face with actual customers. Took quite a thumping, didn't he? Can't say he didn't deserve it. Still can't leave him to rot all on his lonesome. Someone's got to tend to the great lug. He's oh. coming round. Oh, my head. Somebody stop the spanning. There's a whirlpool I'm in. Don't fret, Patch, you've had a nasty knock. Did you see who thumped you? No, but... I can almost remember what hit me. The terrible weapon that laid me low, it's... You saw the weapon, what hit you? I, I think so. It was... Oh, I can't remember a thing. My brain's been boggled. Oh, you've got amnesia, you have. Amnesia? Oh, no, that as well as a bang to the head. Is it fatal? Just take things step by step, Chuck. What's the last thing you can remember? Well, I was upstairs getting set for a jump junior on slide, but something wasn't right. Them little dogs of Felicity's were underfoot and they wouldn't shut their yaps. Duncan McBiscuit doesn't take guff from yapping wee dugs, so I grabbed that bone toy of theirs and took it away. They didn't like it one bit. Oh no! Best part was when I squeezed the wee toy, it drove them crazy because it made this noise. This noise. Oh, what was that noise? I can't recall. My brain's turned to haggis. Don't fret, Pat. Just rest. It'll come back to you. That's it. The sound of the toy. Now I remember. Go on. Then what happened? Oh, I kept the toy and shut the wee doggies doing the slide. They didn't like that one bit neither. <laughs> I was having a grand time. I wanted a wee picky to remember by, so I went down to that photo thingamajig. I struck a manly pose and I was... I was... Uh, oh, Cribbins. It's all fading away. I'll be forgetting my own name next. Oh, don't get yourself in a twist, love. It'll come back to you. You shouldn't eat candy floss, Mr. Paneer. Bad for your teeth. Oh, I'm not eating it. I just like having something to hold. You must try to stop worrying so. Well, the thumper. Who knows where he'll strike next? I don't think there is a thumper. 
I think Duncan just fell over and wandered off by himself. He's a clumsy orc, you know. Aye, he is heavy on his feet, that's for sure. He'll bounce back, he always does. It's Goji Woo and Tinky Wee I'm worried about. Those silly accusations hurt their feelings. I just hope playing dress up will lift their spirits. A new look is a tonic for the soul, don't you find? Afraid I don't know how to play dressing up games as it happens. Doggy dress up, silly. I just need to pick the right outfits. <laughs> so many to choose from. Do you like the pretty pictures? My poor little darlings. They loved the fashion shoot, but they were so agitated they couldn't sit still. Do you know what upset them? Some horrid person stole Mr. Squeaky. Isn't that awful? Mr. Squeaky's only a bone, but he's absolutely their favorite toy. The three of them are inseparable. Personally, I think it was that constable. Who else could be so cruel as to steal from a couple of helpless little puppies? He's like a little boy, crazy for candy floss. My poor little Duncan. All he wanted was to take me out on a date. Perhaps I'll let him, if we ever get out of here. I just can't remember. That's right. I remember. Go on. I was taking a picky, holding a stick of candy floss. Oh, I love that stuff, me. That got my hunger up. Just then, like an answer to my prayers, the gong sounded for supper. I yeah, came to table, the supper. And there I found heaven, my lovely lass, Felicity. I remember the fine sweet smell of her like she smelled like um, oh blast it all my nose is a blank i cannot recall give it time love you'll remember mm. my head just hit me as a bagpipes bladder Grunt, you must know what the debonair dog likes. Why don't you help me pick an outfit for my precious darlings? Use your doggy fashion sense and choose your favorite hat, glasses, and collar. That's a good choice. 
but one of my sailor hats is missing. Hoochie Woo and Tinky Wee like to wear matching outfits. Finding it hard, aren't you? I just can't decide. Debonair doggy, you. This holiday didn't turn out quite the way he planned, did it? Not my best shot. He looks so happy. Looks lonely somehow. Ah, oh, it's only you, Gromit. For a moment, I thought. <laughs> well, never mind. I'm sorry, lad, but if you want some candy floss, you'll have to get your own. I'm rather attached to mine. Artificial blossoms may look pretty, but they don't smell like much. Hello there, Gromit. Would you like to play doggy dress up? I wonder what the best dressed dogs are wearing this season. a nice present. That's a stylish look. I do admire those sunglasses. I suppose they're back in fashion. Seems I'm something of a trendsetter. So many choices. Wait. One of these suspects knows Summit, but who to question first? Now. It's got to be one of these three. But which one? Do you sense something, boy? Hmm. His motive is clear enough, but could this apparently gentle purveyor of fine groceries be a Jekyll and Hyde character, perhaps? A vicious thumper in disguise? I must interrogate him! Who would have thought our little do-it-yourself beach resort would be the scene of a crime? All we need to solve the mystery is a motive, a weapon, and a witness. Silicon flowers. Lovely, but not particularly fragrant. Watch your step from it. 
That's a slippery slope. Put that candy floss down while I'm interviewing you, if you please. Ooh. I'll ask you again, and this time I want a straight answer. Did you or did you not thump Duncan McBiscuit? Did you not? I mean, you did not. Uh, that is to say, me, not you. I mean, I mean, not you, me. But not me. I didn't, did you? That's not right. Uh, where was I? All right, that's enough. Just you watch yourself, Mr. Paneer, or I'll be watching you. Got it? Not another word. Phew. Da 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 Well met, Private. Watch your hindquarters, Private. There are spies about. Saw myself dragging off that Duncan chap. Not a pretty picture. Good heavens. Someone here must be a member of the Cheese of the Week Club. Little suspects. One of them's got to be the thumper. If I keep staring long enough, I'm sure I'll detect something eventually. Caught a scent, have you? Yes, I'll have a little chat with the Major. Perhaps he knows something he doesn't know he knows. invite you to inspect the evidence. Are you having a laugh? Enough questions. We're wasting time. The spies could be signaling their ship. If they give away our position, we're done for. <sighs> All right. Yes. Fine. So tell me what these so-called spies of yours yeah, boy. like. Don't mind if There's I... There's a hat. It was dark. Dark as a darkened room. Then the door cracked open, and I saw them, swarthy little men with sunken eyes and primitive tattoos, dragging Duncan's limp body. <laughs> Sailors, <laughs> judging by their uniforms, natives of the South Seas. Yeah, I boy. Take my reputation on it. Did they look like this? No, no, no. Eyes more sunken, with heavy brows. That's better. Add nautical tattoos round their necks, and don't forget the uniform. There we are. A hint more menace. Just a hint now. Yes, now you've got it. Those are the villains I saw. Right, so this is what they look like, eh? Post that picture to every jack tar in the Navy. We've got to stop them before they make landfall. That's just what I'll do. The man means well, but he's a couple of bricks short of the full hod. Okay. 
heard the hat. Oh, oh, you found it. Good boy. Now Poochie Woo and Tinky Wee can play sailor again. Yep, boy. Does the nice doggy woggy want to choose another outfit? Show me what doggies like best. Aye, aye, Captain. Dark eyes. So I think that... classic. Poochie Woo and Tinky Wee will love this. Poochie Woo, Tinky Wee. Take we Oh, look at this. Hello. You found Mr. Squeaky. You clever things. I was afraid he'd never turn up. Now we're really ready for some fun, aren't we? Let's get dressed up. The poor things are shy. Would you mind leaving us alone for just a little while? Let me see this real quick. Alright, I was right. Aren't you cute? Dang it. I can do that again. Help me pick. Aye, aye, Captain. Classic. Good dog. Nice choice. Woogie woo. Take away. It's dress up time, my darlings. Okay. Don't fuss, sweeties. You can go back upstairs in a minute. Right now, I need you to sit still. Oh, that's where the, the toy is at. I go, I go. Here we go, guys. I'm gonna push it. Dang it. I did that wrong. You gotta move this first. Yep, that's right. There we go. Okay. Try this again. Yeah, boy.
Are you sure this time, Mr. Hmm. Wallace? I'll summon the suspects. Right. You have accused Felicity's diminutive dogs of thumping Duncan McBiscuit. To prove it, yep. you need a motive, a weapon, and a witness. Where do you want to start? Racking. Now we'll Can know the truth. The truth about what? Uh, the witness. I've identified the witness. Good show. Tell us who witnessed um, uh, uh, Tinky Woo and Pochi Wee assaulting Mr. McBiscuit. Well, out with it, man. Uh, uh, um, just a moment. Uh, who would you pick for a witness, lad? My witness is Major Crumb. It's quite right. I saw him. It was black as pitch. The door cracked open, and I saw him dragging away the body. Short, hairy fellows with sunken eyes and tattooed necks. Sailors from the South Seas. Spies! Spies from abroad! Not this again. I think we've heard enough. Wait, Major. Did your spies look like them too? Good heavens! Hang on. No, there is a resemblance, but something's not quite right. That's that, then. Your witness isn't credible. Uh, ooh. Oh, it was working. All right, that's enough of that. Move along now, everyone. I got the glasses and I got the um the uh hat wrong. Can I go back? Deactivated your call box, Gromit. Never fear, I'll put it right after our guests have gone. Okay, that's that's good now. Da 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 da. I'm so glad that they um put uh, a lot of things from the TV show in this game. They did a great job with that. Okay, let's fix this up. Help me pick another outfit, Gromit. Wait, I need a. I need a look real quick. Sailor hats. I think I got it. I got it wrong. Very latest. Yeah, that's it. Ah, it again. This is going to be such fun. Pooji woo, tinky wee. It's dress up time, my darlings. Hmm. <laughs> Think, McBiscuit. Think. <laughs> oh, that's no help. Ah, I'm about as sharp as a butter knife. Oh, this is useless. And so am I. All right, let's go back. Ah, yet I think I've solved it. I certainly hope so. I'll gather the guests. 
Where do you want to start? Sorry about that, guys. There's a nice knocking. Uh, let's see. Witness. And the witness is. You've been Major Crum another go, are you? Oh, uh, yes. My witness is Major Crum. That's right. I swarmed. It was black as pitch. The door cracked open, and I swarmed, dragging away the body. Short, hairy fellows with sunken eyes and tattooed necks. Sailors from the South Seas. Spies! Spies from abroad! Look, this again. I think we've heard enough. Wait, Major. Did your spies look like them too? Good heavens! That's them, all right. I'd recognize them anywhere. Put those spies in irons. Don't be silly. They're puppies. Dogs of war, more like. What war? There is no war. What? All right, let's let sleeping dogs lie, shall we? The main point is, the Major saw these two dragging away Mr. McBiscuit. Isn't that right, Major? It most certainly is. In that case, according to the law, he is a legitimate witness. You're on the way to proving your case, Wallace. We've got a witness. What next? And the weapon is... Do you have anything resembling a weapon, lad? I could use one sharpish. Sorry, it is only a prototype. All right, that's enough of that. Move along now, everyone. I gotta go take a bathroom break, but I will uh, cut that out, maybe. I don't know. It. Right then. We've got a witness. What next? Right. That's the one. What's the one? Uh, motive. I've solved the motive. Excellent. Tell us why uh, Wadgy Podge and Tinky Pink thumped Duncan McBiscuit. Well, out with it, man. Uh, uh, um, just a moment. Can you spare a motive, lad? I if you've got one, give it here. The motive is this chew toy. Really? The pups are very attached to that toy. I know from bitter experience. Of course they are. Mr. Squeaky was a present from their mumsy. That doesn't make it a motive for hurting Duncan, though. Oh, yes, it does. Duncan stole the toy from them doggies. Told me so himself. He never did. Oh, he did. If Mr. McBiscuit did indeed take their favorite toy, that could well be a motive for thumping. But why would Duncan want to take Mr. Squeaky? The very idea is ridiculous. Ridiculous? Possibly. But on the balance of probabilities, spot on. I believe this motive meets the test of the law. The case against the... Uh, them two dogs is coming together. The only piece of the puzzle left is the weapon. And the weapon is... Do you have anything resembling a weapon, lad? 
I could use one sharpish. Sorry, I don't got a weapon. A Sorry. In the system oh. to winkle out. All right, that's enough of yep. that. Move along now, everyone. Move along, little doggy. Move along, little doggy. Move along, little doggy, doggy, doggy. Bobo, bobo, cocho. Yes. Okay. You can do this, Ernest Dibbins. <laughs> Uh, let's see, rubbish revenge, rubbish revenge. Uh, saying else is fight. Crazy. Mr. Paneer, yes, let's go, Mr. Paneer. Um. Where is Mrs. Gabali at? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Uh, let's here. What is it, boy? Hmm. Maybe this time I'll get some sense out of him. Ba 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 ba. Candy floss down while I'm interviewing you, if you please. Ooh. I'll ask you again, and this time I want a straight answer. Did you or did you not thump Duncan McBiscuit? Did you not? I mean, you did not. Uh, that is to say, me, not you. I mean, I mean, not you, me. But not me. I didn't did you. That's not right. Uh, where was I? You're not me, and I did you not. Uh, so you didn't do it. No, 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 wait, yeah. I've heard quite. Dang it. That smells so nice. Oh, the flower in my hair, of course. Fresh from my very own front garden. Oh, thank you. For giving me for giving me that hint, Miss Flit. Hee hee hee. Then we gotta Get out of here, escape. Okay. Do 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 do. Yep. That's it! The sweet scent of felicity! How could I forget? I remember! I remember everything now! I'm cured! You've cured my ham knees! You cured me, and... and... I were a right numpty with you, weren't I? Still are, I reckon. But don't go weepy on me now. Tell me what happened after you sat down to supper. I was making a toast. Okay, and enjoy this cutscene. I will I'm gonna go to the, the bathroom. When... Thump. <gasps> who thumped you? Oh, I never saw who, but I saw what. The supper gong mallet. That's what hit me. The supper gong mallet. You sure, Chuck? Sure. Oh, I. Look, look what it did to me. Ooh. Hey, that's a crime, that is. No wonder your mind's been a blank. What kind of person would do that? They should be locked up. You go back to sleep now, love. Get some rest. Thank you. 
Alright, we're back, and let's see, so that was, is there plenty to do now? Oh, the constable won't even let you out for walkies, will he? Best leave him be, poor man. Not much of a man, am I? Just hope the fragrant Miss Flick doesn't see me like this. Shut up, you big baby, and stop yakking. I well, thanks for curing my hand knees. I'll no forget you. See that you don't. But if you really want to thank me, you can do summit for Wallace. It's his enterprise you spoiled. Now, back to sleep with you. Aye, anything you see, Mrs. Gabberly. I thought that was like one of the handles for the thing. I guess not. Nope. Oh, there it is. Aha. Now, now, now I can do it. Ah, 
That's an extra fluffy batch. Can't do any harm to trade up. Just this once. Oh, crikey, it's heavy. Must be family size floss. All right, now we can get him to uh, talk to him. We'll get the weapon. It's got to be one of these three, but which one? Do you sense something? We're almost really? done, everyone. We're almost done. Hmm. It's, it's a long episode. Enough. Sorry about that. But could this apparently gentle purveyor of fine groceries be a Jekyll and Hyde character, perhaps? A vicious thumper in disguise. I must interrogate him. is so good love this game so much um, put that candy floss down while I'm interviewing you if you please Ooh. I'll ask you again and this time I want a straight answer did you or did you not thump Duncan McBiscuit did you not I mean you did not uh, that is to say me not you I mean I mean not you me but not me I didn't did you dang it Oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Just you watch yourself, Mr. Paneer, or I'll be watching you. Got it? Not another word. Phew. What happened to my little friend and protector? I'll have to spin up another. Booyah! We are gonna be finally gonna be ending this episode. Spoiler alert. Yes! About dang time. Let's call everybody in for supper. I'm afraid our supper gong won't be seeing any more use this evening. Got it. Right then. The only piece of the puzzle left is the weapon. And the weapon is. Huh? Monty Muzzle. Do you have yeah. anything resembling yep. a weapon, lad? In the next episode. Da da da. Weapon is this mallet. Eee, you bang on the money this time, Wallace. I remember now. That's what it Duncan all read. He said so himself, and he's got the dent in his fonts to prove it. It all makes sense now. <laughs> that a maladjusted mallet, all right. Maladjusted? What makes you say that? Well, it looked all fluffy and pink and delicious, but underneath it was rock hard and not very tasty. Uh, thank you, Mr. Finneer. It appears that the mallet is indeed our weapon. Well done, Wallace. Wallace, you've shown us motive, weapon, and witness. And according to the powers vested in me as an officer of the law, I now pronounce the case solved. Duncan McBiscuit was thumped by a mallet because of a stolen chew toy. The crime being witnessed by Major Crumb. The perpetrators of this evil deed were none other than the canine criminals Poojie Woo and Tinky Wee. No, it can't be. My darlings are precious, kind, incy wincy doggies, not hooligan hounds. I knew it. 
Wallace knew it. Would have been changed. Throw away the key. Batten down the hatches. Cabin door to manual. All in a day's detective work. Oh, I really do feel fit. Ooh. Oh, dear. Not over yet, guys. Not over yet. Oh, oh yeah. Here we go. The, the finale That's of the episode. Chapter 4. Down the drain. Two hours and 14 minutes. Dang. A long episode. Here we go. Use up and down your to speed up and slow down. Almost. It's a long, this long game. Wait, what? There we go. Yeah, boy. Oh, I, got, I got an idea. It's a, it's a chew toy. It's a chew toy. The chew toy. Chew toy. Okay. We gotta hit that. We gotta hit that. Here we go. Now, we get the starfish. Ta-da. Goodbye. They're dead. Heavens above. They followed their toy down the drain. Well, I'll give them one thing. <laughs> they're dogged to the end. They're dead. Welcome aboard, lad. Just a short jump to the They got what they wa needed. Wanted. No, no, drop it. I'm about to be flushed. Do something. Hmm. Yeah, get that. Ah, are you crazy? Wait. I'm beginning to feel seasick. There you go. The funny, the funny part again. <laughs> Dang. Dang. Thank heavens, we've made it, Gromit. We're back on dry land. That's one you owe me, pal. 
Um, I do hope everyone's had an unforgettable holiday, and that you'll consider visiting West Wallaby Street Waterworld again next year. They're not dead. They're in jail. <laughs> That's lit. We've got quite a clean up job in front of us. No time for dawdling. Drum it. Drum it. Well, guys, that would do it. Finally, we are at the end of The Last Resort, Episode 2 of the Grunt Wasser Grummet Grand Adventures Telltale Game Series. Wow. What a great episode. I hope you did enjoy it make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see you all next time in episode three of wallace and gromit and again this won't be edited because it'll take forever another day to edit it out one thing and i want to get all these out for you fast before the beginning of the year because these games are not for kids i am Jordan aka J Man and and this has been Games with Jordan aka J Man. I'll see you all next time. Deuces. Peace out for more Floss and Grummet.